Expenditure Method of Measuring National Income. Today I'm going to teach you about this. We have already studied about the other two methods of measuring national income. Now see here, this expenditure method can be called by different names, okay? We can say it is also called as flow of expenditure method or this method can be also called as consumption and investment method and also called as income disposal method. Now, what we have to do in this method? See, we have to measure national income in terms of in terms of expenditure on the purchase of final goods and services produced domestically during an accounting year. Right, now see here, in this method, we have to measure national income in terms of expenditure on the purchase of final goods and services. And these final goods and services are produced domestically, or we can say within the domestic territory of a country, or economic territory of a country during an accounting year. Okay, now see from this, it shows that we have to see the expenditure. Is that clear? Okay, expenditure on what? On such goods that is final goods and services. Now, this expenditure is made by consumer as well as producer. I've taken here only two, okay? Expenditure on final goods and services produced domestically, okay, and this expenditure is made by consumer as well as producer. Consumer for consumption purpose, producer for investment purpose. So see here, I have said that this expenditure method can be also called as consumption and investment method. Consumption, expenditure done by the consumer, investment by the producer. Is that clear? Okay. So consumption and investment method. We can also call this one as consumption and investment method. Now we don't have only these two who 
are incurring expenditure okay so later we will study about different types of expenditure by different categories of people is that clear okay now see here what is it in this method we are going to measure national income by looking at the expenditures on final goods and services produced domestically during an accounting year all right now we have to see the types of expenditures okay so we will put up like this classification of final expenditure classification of final expenditure or we can say classification of expenditure on final goods and services now in this we're going to study about the different types of expenditure all right now we have four main categories of final expenditure first one is private final consumption expenditure now what is this for private final consumption expenditure this is the expenditure incurred on final goods and services okay by so in this we will take up when we say private here it includes the first one is consumer household and another one is non profit institutions all right now see here what is the meaning of private final consumption expenditure it is an expenditure incurred by consumer household and non profit institutions on the purchase of final goods and services produced domestically during an accounting year is called as private final consumption expenditure all right okay now see here we need to see here the expenditure of these two that is consumer household and non profit institutions say for example we will take up this expenditure by the consumer household this includes expenditure on consumer services consumer services examples here health services entertainment services 
Okay. Then we have expenditure on consumer non durable goods. Okay. Expenditure incurred by consumer household on the purchase of non-durable goods. Now, what is this non-durable goods? Non-durable goods are those goods which are of less value and these are single used consumer goods which means what when we say single used consumer goods it means that we cannot make use of such goods again and again okay and second one is these goods are of less value it is cheaper in comparison to other goods say for example in this we have milk bread all right then we have consumer household expenditure on durable goods Now see here, non-durable goods and durable goods. Two types of goods is mentioned in this. Now what is this durable goods? Durable goods are of high value and this goods are used repeatedly for consumption purpose. Is that clear? Okay. Now, see here the difference between these two, right? So, in comparison to durable, non-durable goods, durable goods are of high value as well as such goods <clears throat> can be easily or repeatedly used for consumption purpose. Now under this one we have durable goods like electronic gadgets or we can say car. Okay, now this durable goods can be used for many years. Okay. So, these are few examples of expenditure incurred by consumer household. Got it? Okay. Then second one is non-profit institutions. Okay. Now see here, it says non-profit here. That means institutions are meant for serving the society not with the view of earning profit so such institutions are called as non-profit institutions so they are also incurring expenditure okay so they will also purchase final goods and services for the sake of serving the society the first one first example and second one is i will say compensation of employees expenditure incurred on compensation of employees is that clear okay okay now come back to it again see here classification of final expenditure the first one is about private final consumption expenditure. 
What is this private final consumption expenditure? Expenditure on final goods and services. Expenditure on the purchase of final goods and services by these two, that is consumer household and non-profit institutions during an accounting year is called as private final consumption expenditure and expenditure incurred by these two see here the examples are given is that clear okay now this private final consumption expenditure is denoted by c here c it is written as c all right okay now second classification of final expenditure is not only consumer not only non-profit private institutions apart from it we have government sector who is also incurring expenditure okay so we call it as government final consumption expenditure all right now what is this government final consumption expenditure now see here it represents the expenditure made by government on the purchase of final goods and services. Now, when we say government, the motive of government is always for the welfare of the society. Right? So the so what the government does here is government is incurring expenditure on final goods services is that clear okay and this final goods and services are meant for the collective needs of the society is that clear okay Say, for example, goods. Government is incurring expenditure on final goods. Under this one, we will take up one example. Purchase of final goods for consumption by defense staff. Or personal okay expenditure incurred by the government on the purchase of final goods which is meant for consumption for home for defense personal likewise government is also incurring expenditure on services now under this one services like education services health services etc is that clear now what the government is doing in this government is spending right is incurring expenditure purely for the benefits or we can say purely for the welfare of the society so this is called as government final consumption expenditure and it is denoted by g here all right okay third classification of final expenditure is about investment expenditure here investment expenditure now what is this investment expenditure 
Who is doing investment here? This investment expenditure, or we can say expenditure, is done by the producer. Investment incurred by the producer on the purchase of final goods and services. Goods and services. And these final goods and services are used by the producer in the process of production. This is called as investment expenditure. Now, this investment expenditure are of two types. All right. Now, see here. The first one is the fixed investment and another one is inventory investment. Fixed investment and inventory investment. All right. Now we are going to discuss these two in detail. All right. So first one, we will go for fixed investment. Okay, what is this? Fixed investment. Now see here. Fixed investment. Investment which is made by the producer on the purchase of see here fixed right on the purchase of fixed assets or we can say expenditure incurred by the producer on the purchase of fixed assets now, see here, assets. Assets are of high value. Is that clear? Now, I'll take up here only one example. Fixed assets of the producer. We will take up machine. Machinery items. Okay, is an example of fixed assets of the producer. Now, this fixed assets are used by the producer for what? For further production purpose. Further production purpose. Right, so this is called as fixed investment. Now what is this fixed investment? Expenditure incurred by the producer on the purchase of fixed assets. I've taken here only one example, machine. Is that clear? Okay. And this one is used by the producer for further production process. It's called as fixed investment here. Now, fixed investment will lead to, or we can say, it will cause increase in the fixed assets of the producer, right? Fixed investment will cause increase in the fixed assets of the producer. This fixed investment can be also called as fixed capital 
formation. Other name for investment is capital formation because investment leads to capital formation. All right. Okay. Now see, I have taken only producer's expenditure in this. Apart from it, we also have household fixed investment as well as public, that is government fixed investment. Okay. Now see here, if producer is spending or incurring expenditure on the purchase of fixed assets. In other words, I will say this is called as business fixed investment. All right. This is called as business fixed investment. What is this business fixed investment? Investment made by the producer on the purchase of fixed assets. Machine is one example, or we can say factory building. This is also an asset. Factory is an asset of the producer. Is that clear? Okay. Now I said business fixed investment is what? Producers investment on the purchase of such assets. So why the producer is spending on such assets? Obviously, I said for further production or we can say to increase their production capacity. It's called as business fixed investment. Now, second one under this one, I said not only producer is incurring expenditure. Apart from it, we have fixed investment by household. This is another category which is incurring expenditure, right? So see here, fixed investment by household. So household is also incurring expenditure on fixed assets. Say for example, expenditure on residential construction. This is also an asset of household. Right? Okay. Then we have finally public. Public fixed investment. Now, when we say public, it refers to government, right? So, government is also incurring expenditure on fixed assets. Now, when we say, when we talk about government, its motive is always for the welfare of the society. Whatever kind of investment are done by the government, it is for the welfare of the society. So under this one, when we say government investment on fixed assets, example, construction of school, construction of hospitals, road, etc. These are assets on which government is incurring expenditure. Is that clear? Okay. Now see, I've started like this. Fixed investment by the producer, right? On fixed assets. This one we can also call it as business fixed investment. Apart from it, we have fixed investment by household as well as 
public fixed investment. All right. Now, summation of one, two, three will give you gross domestic fixed investment or in short i will write it gross domestic fixed capital formation is that clear okay i said one two three summation will give you gross domestic fixed investment so i said fixed investment can be also called as capital formation right so gross domestic fixed capital formation now what is this gross domestic fixed capital formation what is the meaning of gross domestic fixed capital formation it is nothing but this one right now what is this see here so gross domestic we can take either this one or either this one gross domestic fixed capital formation is what capital formation is expenditure right capital formation is investment expenditure okay expenditure made by we have seen here by whom first one is by the producer second one is by household third one is by public that is government right so expenditure cf capital formation investment or expenditure incurred by producer household and government on the fixed asset this is what fixed right so this is fixed assets now when we say gross total right so the total expenditure see here total expenditure by these three on what on fixed assets where see here domestic within the country during one year is called as gross domestic fixed investment or gross domestic fixed capital formation all right okay so this is all about gross domestic fixed investment now second one under investment expenditure is inventory investment okay now we have to study about what is this inventory investment so remember this concept has come up in our first method that is value added method of measuring national income right so again it will become a recapitulation here inventory investment now what is this inventory investment i said before in my previous video that a producer will keep stock of certain goods all right goods includes we can say finished goods which are not sold in the market okay then we have semi finished goods which are still in the process of production and the final is the raw material all right now see here finished goods semi finished goods raw material 
stock of such goods are hold by the producer and such stock of goods are called as inventory stock it is called as inventory stock right what is this inventory stock stock of finished goods semi finished goods raw material is called as inventory stock now this inventory stock stock of such goods it will not remain same with time this inventory stock will change we say it as change in stock and this change in stock is caused by inventory investment is that clear okay so this change in stock is called caused by inventory investment now what is this change in stock we have studied before change in stock is it comprises of closing stock and opening stock the difference between these two will make change in stock is that clear okay so now we go back to the third classification of final expenditure that is i said investment expenditure right investment expenditure which comprises of gross domestic fixed investment this can be also called as gross domestic fixed capital formation and we have inventory investment right inventory investment so instead of this one i will write it change in stock right because i said change in stock is caused by inventory investment so i'll be be using change in stock here okay now see here we have two categories of investment expenditure now the sum of these two that is gross domestic fixed investment or gross domestic fixed capital formation plus change in stock plus change in stock will make instead of this one i'll put up like this gross domestic capital formation or straight away capital formation we can write it investment okay so now see here gross domestic capital formation is what here summation of both these two will make this one is that clear okay okay now instead of this one i will be using this so this is the third classification of final expenditure is that clear okay then final classification is net export the fourth one will be net export now what is this net export net difference right so it is the difference between export and this is import the difference between these two will make net export 
Now, very simple. See here. Export is what? Expenditure. Who is incurring here? By foreigners. Right? Expenditure made by the foreigners on domestically produced goods and services. On domestically produced goods and services whereas what is this import import is expenditure made on foreign goods and services or goods and services which are produced abroad is called as import all right okay now we are done with the four broad classification of final expenditure now we will look at those again in brief right so see here First, we have studied about private final consumption expenditure. Right? Second one is government final consumption expenditure. All right. Now I will do like this these thing. These two things I will put it under the category of final consumption expenditure. All right. Final consumption expenditure is private final consumption expenditure as well as government final consumption expenditure. Third one is I said gross domestic capital formation right this comprises of again two gross domestic fixed capital formation and change in stock change in stock all right then fourth one we said net export clear okay now see here final consumption expenditure gross domestic capital formation and net export if we add up all these expenditure we will be getting gross domestic product at market price we will get this one or the sum total of all these expenditure sum total of all this expenditure which is incurred on the purchase of final goods and services produced domestically during an accounting year is equal to gross domestic product at market price. All right. Okay. Okay. So we can say, we can write it like this. See here. Final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic gross domestic capital formation plus net export will be equal to GDP at 
market price. So this comprises of two private final consumption expenditure consumption expenditure and here government final consumption expenditure this comprises of two things gross domestic fixed capital formation change in stock now what is this it comprises i have said right this one is the summation of three things one is business fixed investment fixed investment made by household and finally we have public fixed investment and change in stock is what it is the difference between closing stock minus opening stock and net export is x minus m is that clear the summation of all these things will give you gross domestic product at market price so we can say this is the base formula for the numerical problems so by using this you will be able to arrive at any national income concept is that clear to you okay all right so this is about expenditure method